guys, it's Juliana Palencia, AKA GGB. And in today's video, I worked with Suave to bring you my weekly hair routine. So I'm gonna be showing you guys from wash day until the next wash day and everything in between of what I do to my hair. I never show you guys like exactly what I do from day to day. So this is exactly what that video is. I'm sharing with you guys all of my tips, my secrets, my tricks on how I keep my hair defined all throughout the week. So if you like to see exactly what I do from day to day, then make sure you keep watching this video. Also, if you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you like to see more from me. And I want you guys to comment down below how often you typically wash your hair. For me, I like to wash my hair around every four days. In college, I do it like once a month. And I'm not talking protective styles, I'm talking wearing it out and it would literally take me four hours to detangle my hair. Yeah, so enough of me talking and let's get into the video. So day one of my weekly hair routine is wash day. And do you guys get excited for wash day? Because I kind of do. I jam out to music and right here I'm listening to Frank Ocean. And I literally have a mini concert while I'm washing my hair. <laughs> So I'm going to be using Suave's brand new line for natural hair. Yes, for natural hair. And I'm so excited to cleanse my hair. I'm going to be using the sulfate free cleansing shampoo. And this whole line is bomb. It's infused with shea butter and pure coconut oil. It has no sulfates, no parabens or dyes. It's really really awesome and first I'm going to cleanse my hair and look at my face here y'all know what I was doing <laughs> but I'm gonna cleanse my hair and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite way to do it which is not like this but I like to split my hair in sections and kind of do this downward rubbing motion where I loosen up all the grime and the dirt and the product residue from my previous wash day. And that way, when I rinse my hair, my hair is still super smooth and I get all of that gunk out. It just washes all out. <laughs> So now is on to conditioning, which is a vital step of my curly hair routine. This is super important to pick an amazing conditioner. And I'm using the Suave Moisturizing Curl Conditioner and applying this to my hair in sections. This made my hair instantly feel so soft and so easy to detangle my hair. Like this is my favorite product of the line. It just oh, is so amazing. So I go section by section and detangle my hair from roots to ends. And here is how it looks when it's all detangled. And then once I'm done, I just snap my fingers and the other side is finished. Just kidding, that's a little editing trick, I love it. <laughs> so now it's on to the Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner. And I like to apply my leave-in conditioners while I'm in the shower because I don't know about you guys, but the time from being in the shower to getting out and styling my hair, my hair will start drying up and getting tangled. So the leave-in conditioner just helps it to stay moisturized and hydrated until I'm done my shower and ready to style my hair. Now that my hair is washed, conditioned, detangled, and I have a little bit of leave-in left in there, I'm going to moisturize my hair using the Curl Defining Cream and take this and rake it all throughout my hair. But a huge tip that I have, because my fingers never can get my hair as smooth and frizz-free as possible, I actually take a brush and brush my hair from roots to tips because this really, really smooths out my roots a lot because those have a tendency to get really frizzy. And after moisturizing my hair, I'm taking the Define and Shine Serum Gel to rake through my hair. And I always like to use a moisturizer first and my styler gel second. And this is like the perfect combo with every wash 
wash routine I have. I like to go section by section and really take my time to work the products through my hair. This is sped up here, but it takes me probably around 30 minutes sometimes just to apply the products and really take my time to smooth everything through and make sure I get every single hair. So now I'm going to diffuse my hair and I used to love air drying but diffusing literally only takes me 20 minutes so I save a lot of time waiting for my hair to air dry. And also I diffuse my hair on medium to low heat and high airflow. and I want it to be a little extra right here so don't mind me. <laughs> but my hair feels so soft and it feels super fluffy and not weighed down at all and it smells so good. My hair smelled like coconut nuts and like a tropical bliss so now I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my nighttime routine I just put my hair up into a pineapple and then pop this satin bonnet over it and now it's day two so right here I'm gonna share with you guys a huge secret and hair hack that I do to get my curls to go from this to this and super defined and voluminous it's actually not what I do on day one it's how I refresh my curls on day two to get my curls to be defined all throughout the week so this technique only takes about five to ten minutes to do and pretty much what I do is any frizzy pieces that I see I will add some leave-in conditioner or gel to that piece and just smooth it through from roots to ends. And it's super quick. It takes like five minutes to do, but it creates the best definition ever. Like my, I have, it looks like I have thousands of curls on my head and it really helps to define my hair and just kind of fine tune the pieces that get stretched out or frizzy from my pineapple. And for my bangs, because the front of my hair has always been the frizziest, I'm going to add some gel to my hair and then go curl by curl and finger coil slash twirl each strand of hair or each chunk of curl. And this gets my hair super duper defined. So now I'm going to pick my hair out and guys, picking is the truth you can see the difference between the left and the right picking just gives me so much volume and right here is the end result my hair is super super defined super shiny and also has lots of volume So day three of my weekly routine is pretty much the same as day two. I forgot to tell you guys, I style my edges as well. And I do that on day two and sometimes it lasts throughout the week, sometimes it doesn't. So I may have to refresh those, but I usually always refresh my curls in the morning. It's just an extra five to 10 minutes per day to just get those picture perfect curls and to get my hair popping for my IG pics you know. <laughs> So day four is usually when my hair starts getting a bit frizzy or a bit dry. So I usually pull it back into a ponytail or a bun. And right here, I'm taking the cream detangler spray and I'm gonna spray this all over my hair to re-moisturize my hair. As you guys can see, I add moisture to my hair every single day. And this just keeps my hair super, super healthy and moisturized all throughout the week. So before, I pretty much used to wear my hair out from day one till day four, but now I go to the gym every single day. And my hair, because I sweat and you know, it's all humid in the gym and I'm working hard, you know, for them gains, I do get a lot more frizz and it's just easier for me to maintain my hair in a ponytail and a bun for those last few days. And it's a really cute gym hairstyle, so low side ponytail, if you go to the gym, it is the way to go. So 
now that I make sure that the top is done and looking cute, I'm not just about how it looks, I'm making sure that the bottom of my hair is also moisturized and healthy. So I'm gonna be spraying it and then taking some of the leave-in conditioner to re-moisturize. I just have been doing that the entire video, <laughs> but just to re-moisturize my hair. And usually the next day on day five is when I wash my hair, but because I've moisturized my hair all throughout the week, it's usually super easy to wash and detangle my hair the next time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also I would love to have you join me in my YouTube fam. So you can hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me and also follow me on Instagram as well at Jujube. So don't forget to comment down below how long you go in between your washes. And I hope you have a great day guys. Bye.